so let's continue with the tutorial and uh, yeah so here I have the number seven and uh, yeah uh, eight is the example number eight example the example is going to be gram sheet orthogonalization okay so let me write down the question so you have two parts that's one perform the gram sheet ah Gram Schmidt process on the on the flow basis. So we want to turn this basis into an orthogonal basis. Okay. And B is a two two two. That's the first vector in the basis, 1, 0, minus 1, and the second one is 0, 3, 1, okay? And the second question is, um, then turn, turn uh, the orthogonal basis into an orthonormal basis, so divide by the length, okay? Turn the orthogonal basis into orthonormal orthonormal basis okay so solution is here if you remember from the lecture, the gram schmidt orthogonalization theorem. So if you are given um, a basis made of three vectors, uh, this is the process, okay? You need to undertake to be able to turn that basis into an, ortho, an orthogonal basis. So we are here, number one. Uh, so this is beta 1, beta 2, and beta 3. Okay, so from the Gram-Schmidt orthogonalization theorem, kappa 1, the new uh, uh, basis vector, is going to be, we are going to keep it as a beta 1. And when it comes to kappa 2, the second um, vector, it says, uh, okay, the theorem says that it's going to be beta 2, minus the orthogonal projection of uh, beta 2 into kappa 1 okay kappa 1 so and uh, so we have beta 2 minus uh, the orthogonal projection of uh, of a beta of a beta 2 is going to be Okay, we have seen that in the lectures. Beta 2 dot kappa 1 over kappa 1 dot kappa 1, okay, multiplied by uh, the vector kappa 1. Okay, so this is going to be the vector beta 2 is uh, 1, 0, minus 1 minus we have here minus one is zero minus one dot kappa one is a uh, vector p1 to two, two over two 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 okay we don't have enough space here 
primitive fight dish so we have a chu 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 dot chu 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 all multiplied by the vector kappa one which is chu 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 okay so after calculations we will see that uh, um, kappa 1 is going to be our uh, vector uh, b2 is 1 0 minus 1 uh, dot product so we have 2 minus 2 which is 0 this is minus minus 0 over 2 4 plus 4 plus 4 which is 12 multiply by 2 2 2 so that means kappa 2 equals so this whole thing is 0 so it's equal to 1 0 minus 1 so that's kappa 2 and maybe let me kappa 1 is 2 2 2 okay and uh, now let's find uh, for kappa 3 Kappa three, uh, kappa one, kappa two, now kappa three. The formula says it is going to be equal to beta three minus the orthogonal projection of the beta three into kappa one. Okay, minus the orthogonal projection of the beta three into kappa 2 okay so let me write the whole formula fully b3 minus the orthogonal projection of b3 into kappa 1 is uh, b3 dot kappa 1 over kappa 1 dotted by kappa 1 multiplied by kappa 1 minus the orthogonal projection so minus b3 minus kappa dot uh, kappa 2 over kappa 2 dot kappa 2 multiply by kappa 2 so we have uh, b3 is 0 3 1 minus okay 0 3 1 dot kappa 1 is 2 2 2 2 2 2 dot 2 2 2 multiply by 2 2 2 minus 0 3 1 dot kappa 2 is 1 0 minus 1 uh, over Kappa 2, 1, 0, minus 1, dot, 1, 0, minus 1, all multiplied by 1, 0, minus 1, okay? So this is 0, 3, 1, minus 0, uh, 6, this is 2. This is 2, so 0, 6, plus 2. It is going to be minus 8, sorry, it's going to be yeah, minus 8 over 12 here. Multiply by 2, 2, 2, minus, minus 1, okay. So this is going to be plus 1, 0, 0, minus 1, minus 1 is plus 1. Here is 1, 0, 1, so it's going to be a half. Multiply by 1, 0, minus 1. So this is 0, 3, 1, um, minus 2 over 3, 2, 2, 2, plus, um, yeah, I can, um, plus uh, a half, 1, 0, minus 1. So this whole thing is going to be equal to, so 0, minus 4, uh, plus um, a half is going to be okay 
uh, let's be careful here q is zero three one minus my, my plus minus four over three minus four over three minus four over three plus a half zero minus a half okay so here we have um, six three minus three minus four over six so it's going to be okay so this is three minus eight so it's going to be minus five over six and here is minus four over three and here as well is going to be so this is going to be minus eight minus three so minus eleven minus eleven over six so this is kappa three therefore our new that means our orthogonal orthogonal basis is made of kappa not beta one this time is made of uh, kappa one kappa two and kappa three which is equal to uh which is equal to the basis kappa one was uh two 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 kappa two was um one is zero minus one and kappa three was minus five over six uh five over oh yes so this is uh, so uh, what about our three here yeah this is uh okay so we have that plus three so that's nine minus five so that's five over six five over three five over three here and here we have um here we have minus four over three minus one over two plus one so minus eight over six uh minus uh, three over six and plus six over six which is uh yeah there is one here so this is minus 11 plus uh, six so that's uh, minus five over six Ooh. minus five yeah minus five over six just for a second there so this is minus minus five over six okay so yeah let's make sure everything is okay so minus this is five over three and uh, this is minus five over six let's double check everything is okay Two two divided by three three six six yes yeah that's good so this is our new basis okay so the next question was uh, to turn that basis into an orthonormal basis so orthonormal basis we have seen in the lecture that a normalized vector is um, a vector divided by its length so what we are going to do is uh, to find the length of each vector and divide um, that vector by that length okay so uh, for vector kappa kappa 1 is equal to uh, 2 to 2 that means the um, length of uh, kappa, kappa 1 sorry is going to be the square root of 2 squared plus 2 squared plus 2 squared which is equal to um, 2 root 3 okay therefore 
the normalized kappa one is the following kappa one over the norm of kappa one is going to be equal to um, okay so we have a two over two root two two over two root three sorry root three and two over two root three which is equal to one over root three one over root three and one over root three when it comes to kappa two so here is the normalized process for kappa one kappa two is equal to one zero minus one that means it's normalized uh, it's norm is going to be square root of one square plus zero square plus minus one to be squared which is equal to square root of two okay therefore uh, kappa two over the norm of kappa two is equal to uh, one over root two but zero and minus one over root two okay and then the kappa three uh, equals okay so you have kappa three which is equal to if you recall uh, minus five over six five over three and uh, minus five over six that means the norm of kappa three equals square root of uh, minus five over six minus five over six to be squared plus five over three to be squared plus minus five over six to be squared so this is um the square root of um, so this is going to be the square root of um, uh, plus 25 over 6 so that's 25 over 6 36 multiply by 2 okay so this is going to be okay so now so this is 30 25 over 36 plus uh 25 okay i don't i'm going to write this one a little bit down so that uh, so this is 25 over 36 plus 25 over 9 okay uh plus 25 over 36 so uh plus 25 over 9 okay this should be equal to uh square root of uh, 25 over six so the square root of that also is going to be equal to five equals uh, five over root six five root six over six okay so let's see what we have here so here we have um, that means uh, kappa 3 over the norm of kappa 3 equals yeah um okay so it's going to be uh, minus 5 uh over uh so let's work it out fully okay 
just to make sure that uh, everything is right so we have uh, minus 5 over 6 multiplied by 6 over 5 root 6 and the second component is 5 over 3 multiplied by uh, 6 over 5 root 6 and here minus 5 over 6 multiplied by uh, 6 over 5 uh, yeah, root 6 so this is going to be equal to minus 1 over root 6 and here as for this cancel and uh, here we have 2 so we have um, 2 over root 6 and here that's gone minus 1 over root 6 so this is our kappa 3 over the norm of kappa 3 okay therefore our auto normal basis which is made of uh, yeah, these values so we have uh, the norm the normalized kappa 1 is 1 over root 3 1 over root 3 and 1 over root 3 the second vector the normalized kappa 2 is 1 over root 2 0 and minus 1 over root 2 okay and um, kappa normalized kappa 3 is minus 1 over root 6 okay 2 over root 6 and minus 1 over root 6 so normalized because if we check if we take the norm of these vectors they the their norm should be 1 so square root of 1 of uh, 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3 okay is going to be equal to 1 for the second vector square roots of um, 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 is 2 over 2 which is 1 and this one we have the square root of 1 over 6 plus 4 over 6 plus 1 over 6 equals to 1 so this is just a small check okay for For these uh, orthonormal basis vectors so I think we are going to stop here and uh, this is the end of um, this uh, tutorial and also and uh, the end of this chapter about linear maps okay thank you and uh, see you